The good works continue in our latest season of Renovate. Hi, I'm Belinda. Thank you so much for supporting the show over the past 11 years and accompanying us as we help underprivileged families renew, rebuild and revitalize their homes. Join us now as we provide more families with the boost that they desperately need for personal transformation. Put on your diapers. A family with a special needs child is at their wit's end because their brand new flat is riddled with dangers. It's a hazard, you know, because your son is always here. Lots of dust accumulated dust on, on the, the floor room, underneath. There's a construction nearby. Dust is around, then got no, no choice. Up. Wow! He's out. I can even draw a heart shape <laughs> over here. In a home that isn't future-proof, the family has seen a fair share of accidents. There's an incident before because of the flooring. My wife never noticed the wet floor. Misstep at the water. We worry about Takif because if I fall, he will also fall. Uh, then problem ready. Can Renovate build a safer home for this needy family? Tragedy struck for Rafiza and Shawa when their four-year-old son, Takif, was diagnosed with cerebral palsy. Rafiza had to leave her job to become a primary caregiver for Takif, who requires round-the-clock attention. With both parents experiencing chronic illnesses, they find themselves unable to create a safe environment for their children in a flat filled with dangers. Fiza and Shawa moved into their home in 2016, the same year their son Takif was born. What would have been a joyous milestone for most families, instead became an ordeal for the couple. Takif was born 24 weeks uh, at 600 grams. He stayed in NICU for about seven months. He was so tiny at the time. <laughs> and then, yeah, about, about this size on my hand. There's once I went to visit him in an ICU, then uh, he went purple, and then the heartbeat stops. Uh, deep down, I know that he can make it. Yeah, it, it's just that he has to go through all this. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> nice. Uh, normally, after giving birth, you have confinement, right? I did not do any pantang, because going home without a child uh, is really hard for me. On Takif's discharge, the family scrambled to move into their new home, although it wasn't fully furnished or functioning. Then we get the key, I said, ah, we move in, ah. we move in, since Takif want to go back. But then, uh, we got no light, no nothing. Okay, okay, sweet, sweet. One, two, three. Because when we move in, we actually don't have enough to do renovation. So we just go with the basics. The more of us sleep. On the floor, I like keep stay on the playpen. Susu. Every half an hour, look at the look at him. Got purple or not? Okay, no. I'm still breathing, okay. <laughs> not long after, they received the happy news that Fiza was expecting their second child. But the joy was short-lived as Shawal faced a serious medical setback that rendered him unable to work. I was uh, diagnosed with bone degeneration, uh, which I can't turn my head too much. That time I was wheelchair bound. I can't like, do full time because of my medical condition, which I don't know whether sometimes it can trigger or not. So I have to like ad hoc job. With little earnings, the family could not afford to renovate their new home. Everything in the house was either donated or built by themselves. For what my house is, it's actually all from Bless. One month, one, one item month we item. get. 
of the house thing, we get it from Facebook Bless. Even the sink also was blessed from my ex-boss. But there are some problems in the flat that no amount of DIY can fix. There's an incident before. Because of the flooring, my wife never noticed the wet floor. Me step at the water. So that is where she fell down. Stand up, 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 up. We worry about Takif. Now he's still small, I can still manage to carry him and I can hold on to some of the beam, wall beam. When Takif is bigger and heavier, I may have issue with the toilet because if I fall, he will also fall. Uh, then problem ready. Someone he's, he start to grow tall and, and then he, much I more aggressive. Stronger, yeah. He much more aggressive. Put on your diapers. The family is also battling with severe dust pollutants from their surroundings, which is a hazard for Takif, who has a lung condition. There's a construction nearby, so that's where our house collects a lot of dust. We worry about Takif uh, lung chronic issue because of breathing. But also we got no, no choice, uh. we still need to open the window. Whatever that we do now is we are thinking for his future. We accept him as what he is. We will just do this together, take one day at a time. Yeah. Up on the chicken standing among flat foot. Mess. <laughs> Everything is all over the place. There's one for a time this white patch here. This one. It grew a huge mushroom. No. Yeah, yeah but mushroom growing <laughs> in the house. Takif was born 24 weeks uh, at 600 gram. He stayed in NICU for about seven months. We move in since Takif want to go back, but then we got no light, no nothing. 80% of the house thing we get it from Facebook Bless. Hey, hi. Hello, Belinda. Good to see you, Ai. You. you ready to meet the family? Yep, let's go. Okay, let's go. Today, our interior designer YY and I are visiting Takif's home to see what improvements we can make. Thanks for having us. Hey. Okay. Thank you. Thank Welcome you. to my home. We need to walk around the house okay. to see what are some of the problems that YY sees and we hopefully we're able to help you and your family to okay. rectify it. YY has experience in creating luxurious homes but is no stranger to designing homes for families with special needs. When I first saw the house, I was actually quite surprised that it is not as messy as I imagined. I like the tiles actually, it's kind of cute. Oh, this one feels like foam. And the idea of if my kids grow bigger, they hit on the wall, it's not so painful. <laughs> safety. So it's not just for design purpose? It's both, uh, yeah. It's also for safety purpose. Yeah. This is brilliant. Okay, let me try it. Uh. Hey, actually, it's really not so painful. <laughs> Let's go to the kitchen, shall we? It's a bit, I mean, small. Okay. It's all DIY. <laughs> all DIY. Although it is charming at first, I begin to see the downside of a home entirely built DIY. So I see that all these furniture, they are makeshift, yeah. right? They, were they also uh, given to you? Uh, this was uh, purchased, this was gift uh, uh, from my husband's boss. And then this, uh, when we have enough, we buy some storage shelf. But it's more like a makeshift storage, I have to say. Even yeah. this. What are some of the problems you have spotted over here, YY? Mess. <laughs> Everything is all over the place. We will have to reorganise the kitchen so you can do your baking and also proper storage space. Without proper enclosed storage, every item in the kitchen is exposed to dust. Wow! <laughs> These are, I can even draw a heart shape <laughs> over here. You really don't have much time to clean the house, do you? Yeah. This problem is clearly not limited to the kitchen. 
As we head into the bedrooms, I'm shocked by the amount of dust everywhere. Wow. Dust. How? When was the last? Oh, this is a big problem. It's a hazard, you know, because your son is always here. Lots of dust accumulated dust on, on the, the floor underneath. And more carpet. Uh, why do we need this one here? Slippery. Yeah. The slippery, homogeneous tiles pose a danger to Fiza's family. She has no choice but to cover the floor with rocks. When I first saw their flooring, I was pretty scared because it is really very dangerous, especially with young kids and people with conditions they cannot afford to fall. In the toilet, when you shower, sometimes I almost la, want to fall because slippery. And the hallway, I ever fall two times. So the floor has been giving you a lot of problems, am I right, in general? What about Takif? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I need to carry him, so yeah. I have to step on the dry part first, then only I walk slowly. And that's why you have this anti-slip mat? For my daughter, when, he's, when she stands, yeah, anti-slip mat for her. Because when, for her to stand and then shower her. Otherwise, sleep. she might slip yeah. as well. I think we really need to renovate the bathroom in a way that would be user-friendly. Yeah, and I think we need to install some handrails, you know, some... Bar. Yeah, some bar, yeah, yeah. some shower chair. We will need to revamp the floors, especially the kitchen and the bathroom. I want to show you something. What? Show it. Oh! What is this? The problems seem to be even worse for them. I'm not sure the water from outside or inside is like the rusty. Even here? At the walls, yeah. It's all rusty. Before I paste this, also actually the walls have some watermark patch. And it also passed through that wall. Uh, wow, what and about your And then it rooms? went through the kids' room, the skirting sides are open up. I see that there are some serious waterproofing issues in this flat that need to be rectified immediately. I suspect there's water submerging in and then there's one point of time, this white patch here. This one? It grew a huge mushroom. No! Uh, yeah, my brother cut it off for me. You mean? You, <laughs> you have a mushroom growing <laughs> in your house? I was shocked when she told me that the, the skirtings of the house were popping up and it was constantly wet. Okay, we definitely have to change the door because it's a wooden door. It's not practical for a wet area. Yes. Am I right? Yes. And the door frame as well. <sighs> this house is very deceiving because first impression is like, it looks great, nothing wrong with it. But when you really go into details, and that's when you see lots of problems presenting in front of you. Hi, Belinda. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. I've arranged to meet with Takif's therapist, Ing Lie. She has been working closely with the family for two and a half years, and she probably has great advice on how to future-proof the flat with Takif in mind. So for Takif's condition, he will need to do therapy exercise every day. So for example, we can have like grab bar um, over here so that he can practice standing while holding onto the grab bar. What yep. other areas do you think? I think it's the toilet. Oh. Mom has been showering Takif in the bathtub on the floor and also mom has knee pain. So it may be very tough for mom to lift and carry Takif and Takif is getting bigger in size. It will be good that um, we can install some grab bar. So when mom lifting up, can hold on the grab bar to lift up. Ying Lie also suggests that Takif needs a larger bed with safety rails so that he can perform some therapy exercises in his bed. And also, um, the place shouldn't be so cluttered because in the future, when mom might need to transfer Taki from the bed to the chair as well, so it might be a bit need to be like spacious a bit to put the chair or like other things. Safety is very important. We not just want to beautify the place. We also have to think two steps ahead to prevent um, accidents. How uh, how are you feeling? Is it challenging? Challenging. But I'll do my best. It's such a big difference. It's yeah. so pretty. 
Oh, so you mean you swap the, yep. the rooms? Why did you choose to do that? Space. I was shocked when she told me that the skirtings of the house were popping up and it was constantly wet. So the floor has been giving you a lot of problems. I ever fall full time. It has been a few weeks since YY and I last saw each other. I hear she's been working very hard to come up with a new design for Fiza's home. I'm very excited to look at your 3D presentation. YY is planning a major overhaul on Fiza's home, and she's even got a theme to it. This is the living room. It's wow, I, I, I see a feature wall over yeah. here. My thinking was like, you know, to create like a resort theme within their home, so they feel that they are closer to the nature. This is also part of the reason I choose this wallpaper. Ah, that's yeah. very, very thoughtful. She's chosen a warm colour palette and wood finishings to go along with this resort theme. However, it's not just a pretty design. YY has to build a functional home for a special needs family. They have this big problem in the house and yep. that's flooring. Yes, this is the flooring that we are going to replace. Uh -huh. all right? So this is actually called vinyl flooring. Mm -hmm. uh, if you can touch here, right, mm. it's actually rough. Mm. So it will be uh, less slippery mm. and also safer for them. Right. YY also wants to change the current sleeping arrangements. So this common room is actually for the parents. Oh, so you mean you swap the, yep. the rooms? So the parents will be sleeping in the common bedroom and then the two kids will be in the master bedroom. Takif requires a therapy area. So YY has decided to set aside a small space in a new children's room for his daily therapy needs. She also plans to demolish the wall in between the two bedrooms and replace it with a space-saving built-in wardrobe. So basically now two wardrobes are being placed side by side Yes. to act like a wall and wardrobe. So you see this side here yes. behind the room door will be the wardrobe for the parents. Yes. And this side here will be a feature wall for the TV. Great, this is fantastic. So it's got, it's got that very rustic look. Like you said, you, yeah. you would love to create a resort yeah. for them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Something safe and um, pretty for them. Yeah, it yeah. is very pretty. Thank you so much, okay. YY. I think it's going to be very exciting. Before YY can get started on her design, the first thing I'll need to do is to clear the clutter and move the family out of the flat. Today, we're going to help Visa and her family move out of their flat. So, Team Renovate, are you ready? Yes! Let's go. Is that all? Anything yeah. else to the hotel? That's all. Uh, That's all, yeah? I'm relieved to see that Visa seems to be mostly packed and ready to go. We are really, really <laughs> nervous. nervous. Yeah, that we never pack everything correctly, the medication and all the important documents. I really expect we're going to be busy. That's why we do the packing a bit more. I've been volunteering for Renovate for about the past four seasons. The owner has uh, packed the house well, so we know what to do, what to go to the warehouse and what to go to the hotels and all that. There are still many items to move and furniture to disassemble. On top of that, we're facing a tiny roadblock. Yeah, I did one side, I did one side. Come, I did one side. Oh, oh, oh! She was running here and there because toddler, she's very curious about what's going on and my daughter liked to help. I have to take matters into my own hands. Can we have uh, somebody who's very good with kids? Adik, uh, come here, Kadria, come here. The daughter was just running around everywhere and we're trying to move things out of the house. It's actually very dangerous, so that's why I decided to plant one of our volunteers as a temporary caregiver. Please take good care of them, huh? Thank you, thank you. With the children taken care of, my volunteers can safely disassemble furniture and do the final teardown. 
This is the, uh, my first time uh, volunteering for Renovate. We are moving out a lot of things. That includes uh, a lot of dismantling as well. Uh, not too difficult, all manageable. After a speedy one and a half hours, the flat has reverted to the empty shell that it was once before. For me, a bit sad. Lah. Come inside here with nothing from zero, then with something. You slowly read then one item. All of a sudden, like empty back to zero again. But this time, positive. Yeah, everything will be brand new. So, looking forward for that. Bye home. See you. See three you weeks. in three weeks time. Bye. <laughs> You got your own makeup, eh? See, he knows that all this is about him.